Hi Libra, I'd like to welcome you to Our Daily Magic. My name is Kai and I'm here to give you your tarot reading and astrology for the month of April. So um, I just want to let you know that this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and also of course Cross Watchers are always welcome to this channel. Um, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not uh, resonate with everyone, um, or at least not everything. So please take what does resonate with you and just leave the rest. Also, feel free to visit OurDailyMagic.com if you would like a personal detailed reading. And of course, you can join our lovely Facebook groups where we have free weekly readings and a whole bunch of other wonderful things that you can find in the description box, including the decks that we use. So please feel free to also uh, connect in the comments. Love connecting with you. Uh, let me know uh, what it is that you would like to share about your experience and how we are heading into April. So let's get started. We've got a theme card and also a self-care card already for us uh, as I've meditated on the energy of Libra for the month of April. And let's reveal those now. Excellent. So the theme for this month is gratitude. Uh, this is a wonderful mantra here from the Wild Offering Oracle deck. It says, find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm, like a warm, like the warmth of the sun. Excellent, excellent. And of course, I've asked the self-care oracle deck, what act of self-care can pro propel you towards your highest healing and greatest good? And that is nature, as we talk about the warmth of the sun. Take a walk. Let the beauty of nature feed your soul. So important. Uh, we've got nicer weather on the way for those of you who are um, in, in this particular hemisphere. Um, so this is a, a great idea, and especially for your sign. Uh, gratitude and also really connecting with nature. Excellent. So we've got some other cards that we can pull here to talk about the month generally. One of them is, um, let's go to the Disney tarot deck here to find out what challenges could be coming up this month so that way we can be very prepared for them. Okay, so again, what challenges um, are there for Libra in the month of April? Oof, my goodness, we've got a few. And let's see what they say. Okay. So one is that we want to absolutely be checking in with our routine um, and also our persistence. Okay, one of those cards is the Nine of Wands. This is a real, this is a card about like being courageous and moving forward and um, just really, really making sure that you are putting yourself first. Okay, we'll talk about that in a little while. Um, we've got some other cards here. Uh, one of them is that uh, the Knight of Cups, and this usually speaks to romance. Um, so there may be some challenges uh, when it comes to romance, and uh, the way that I'm feeling that it's coming across here is just literally to make sure that you're staying in a romantic state of mind. Uh, it can absolutely be to your benefit uh, to really maintain, uh, you know, just being in love with life, being in love with yourself. So let's make sure that we maintain uh, this mindset this month. And let's see if there's anything else here. Um, I think we are good on those, but let's find out a archangel who would like to work with you on these challenges. Okay, this month, who can Libra work with? Aha. Uh -huh. So we've got Archangel Jeremiel, 
Overcoming difficulties is a theme. The worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. <clears throat> so as you go through your journey in the month of April, you can call on Archangel Jeremiel to help you through. And this is the power of these um, wonderful oracle decks here. <clears throat> and I'll put that there as a reminder. Excellent. So let's get started talking about the month ahead. We're going to give these cards a shuffle. And this is the Avengers Tarot deck. Again, all of these decks can be found. Their links are in the description box. Excellent. One more shuffle. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So let's see what is going on currently. Uh, right now, this is a, an opportunity to really, uh, just like we were saying earlier, to have a fresh, innocent perspective on life. This is the Six of Cups here, by the way. To really be in a state of mind where you're not stuck in the past, uh, we're not being overly critical or judgmental of everything that has happened. Why? Because we are overcoming the difficulties. We don't want to stay in the mindset of them. So this is an opportunity to really just open up and be fresh. Um, have a, looking at life like like a child, you know, just with so much um, innocence and curiosity is something that can uh, absolutely benefit you. Um, let's see what else is going on here. So this this perspective of looking at things like a child in conjunction with our relationship to power, control, and authority seems like the two things that we're balancing this month. So if we can understand that there is a uh, there is a balance, sometimes we have to think about what can come first, what kind of priorities there are in our lives. Okay, sometimes other people, we can, you know, tend to them when our cup is full, and then at other times we really need to take a step back and also understand what is it that we need? What do we need to take care of? Is it, uh, is it our health? Is it our bodies that we need to take care of? Because uh, let me tell you, this month, your body will thank you for all of the wonderful things that you can do for it, including uh, connecting with nature, as we were saying before. So these two cards are just saying that let's get those, those things into balance. This new perspective, this new fresh opportunity uh, to look at life is available to you. And also let's come into an understanding about how it is that we deal with control and authority. Excellent. What's driving you this month? This month you have the world available to you, but what will you do with it? <laughs> this is uh, um, what it is that you are working for. You're working for achievement. You're working for that, that big picture um, and totally um, looking for that sense of wholeness and completion. Uh, that's a lot of what this card speaks about. Okay, so last month may have been um, a bit turbulent. You can see we have the Queen of Swords card here in the position that is dedicated to your past. Okay, so when we see this, we are talking about, you know, maybe um, one or two things. Either having some feelings that of being like overly emotional or cold hearted. So you can see how the, the it's out of black, out of balance, okay? So we're bringing ourselves back into balance this month uh, after things may have been a bit out of balance. Okay, and our goals and ideals uh, this month uh, include, um, let me just show you this card here. This is about bringing an end to things that are not serving you, okay? This is literally about completing a cycle and making sure that endings are endings and that we're in a place where we can again like we said from the beginning start fresh okay so let's leave those things behind let's uh, bring an end uh, death to those things that do not belong in our reality those things that we do not want here 
Okay, taking a peek into the future. We've got the three of cups here, okay? And this is talking about, um, you know, understanding that there may be some things that we, like, we want to celebrate. Like, we want to be in community. We want to be in harmony with others. Um, however, we could be holding ourselves back, Libra, okay? So just really keep in mind that community is here for you. And also, we got to make sure that we are totally aligned on the inside with who we are and who we, are, who we want to be about things, how we want to be about things in the month of April, okay? So this is just, this is a lesson here. Uh, this three of, card, uh, three of Cups in reverse is just saying, uh, please be careful uh, to make sure that you're not holding yourself back. Excellent. How are we approaching the month? We're approaching the month in uh, thinking about our generosity. We want to make sure that our giving and receiving is in balance. Um, and if it is, we could be the um, the reciproc. We could be the recipient of uh, some generous offers. And if it is not in balance, uh, then we could be giving more than we are um, receiving. Uh, so, or the other way around. So again, we really want to make sure that the giving and receiving is in balance this month because it is coming up a number of times. That's super important. Okay, so we've got the uh, Nine of Cups in reverse here, and this is in reference to this driving force that we have, um, that we're like really looking and moving forward uh, towards this this sense of completion, this sense of wholeness, okay? Um, but the Nine of Cups in reverse is saying that, you know, there might be something off. There might be something off that we need to pay attention to. And, you know, based on the messages that we've received so far, it might be that you're holding yourself back. But understand that this, this complete picture of everything that you've wanted is right here waiting for you. That we just need to um, make sure that we are balancing um, these choices that we're making, making sure we're not making toxic choices. Let's make healthy choices that can really contribute uh, to our well-being, especially when it comes to our health and our body. And even our business plays um, a good part of that if we're looking at it holistically. Okay, so let's, let's balance and make things a priority that need to be uh, so that we can absolutely direct ourselves towards this beautiful picture of um, wholeness, completion, and essentially our dreams fulfilled. Excellent. Advice moving forward. Uh, this is the Knight of Pentacles here. So we want to take a look at our routine. What is it um, about our routine that we can enhance so that we're not feeling stuck, okay? If we can, again, you know, look at things with a fresh perspective, what new things can I add to my routine, um, you know, or replace in my routine that will help me get closer to my goals, closer to that, you know, that picture of achievement and completion. Uh, it is so important to look at our daily routine because the, the way that we do one thing is the way that we do everything. So if we can get really, um, really present to what it is that we're doing on a daily basis, we can perhaps unlock some of the things that can bring us closer to our dreams fulfilled. Excellent. And the last card here is the Eight of Pentacles. This is absolutely the card of, you know, taking our um, education or apprenticeship or uh, studying um, or, you know, just making ourselves better to the next level, okay? This is something that can really absolutely serve us, and um, I wish you lots of inspiration in making sure that you are, you are in alignment with becoming your best self. That is exactly what this card is about, and that's what's in store for you for April. So thank you so much, Libra, for tuning in. Of course, if you would like a more detailed reading, please feel free to reach out to me at OurDailyMagic.com for a personal private reading. And also there's tons of amazing links in the description box um, if you would like to join us in the, in the face, Facebook group um, or any of the other lovely engaging channels that we have going on. So I wish you tons of blessings, Libra, and take care.